We want to get to our missing story tonight. It's a mystery. Did a mother from Illinois drop everything and leave her three kids, or did something else, something sinister, happen to her that is now keeping her from her family? It has been 10 days since Juana Ariano Garnica was last seen, and her family is becoming more and more worried about her by the hour. <laughs> Two-year-old Juana Adiano Garnica posted almost daily on TikTok, documenting her weight loss and racking up comments from admirers. On the day before she disappeared, her last post was an eerie nighttime beach scene with the words, "You did it." Yes, but at what cost? I lost everything. The next day, on August 21st, Juana reportedly left her house around nine at night saying she was getting a drink, but she never showed up at a nearby bar. About two hours later, it's believed she can be seen in this security footage, first walking and then running past a local elementary school. Police say they located another video clip from a short time later, showing her getting into a car voluntarily with two other people inside. Through a translator, her sister insists Juana would have contacted them if she was okay. She don't feel that she's safe because it's been so many days and she hasn't communicated, not even to her daughter. Clinton police say it appears Juana left the area voluntarily, absent any evidence of criminal wrongdoing. But in a statement to News Nation, the chief says, we will continue to investigate any new information or leads that may lead us to Juana's whereabouts for the purpose of verifying her safety and well-being. However, future investigative efforts must balance public safety and an individual's right to privacy. Anybody who gets a lot more attention you know, may be at more risk. We asked cybersecurity expert Alex Hammerstone about Juana's online presence and what role prolific posting can play in personal safety. He says while social media platforms now strip geolocation metadata from photos and videos, the risk still becomes heightened. When you start to share these pictures out and you get these concerted efforts to find out where someone is, generally someone's going to know, know where that location is just by the photo. It is absolutely critical for all of these cases to be put out. Gia Wright is the founder of Missing Person Awareness Network, and she says the search for Juana needs to continue until her family has answers. There always is somebody that knows something. Uh, it is your responsibility as a human to say something. And late today, the chief of police shared with us that Adiano Garnica contacted her sister, but that phone call could not be authenticated and the case is still open. Chief Flowers asked that if Adiano is able to contact law enforcement wherever she might be to please do so. And he also says that Juana is not in trouble and he will keep her location private. If you have any information on the disappearance of Juana, you can contact the Clinton Police Department at the number on your screen. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.